What's going on, family? What is going on? Vassal Hard Fork is coming. It's coming imminently. Get ready. Things are about to get really different. So let's get into this video. We'll talk about it. It's a quick update. Let's get it. Thank you for tuning in to another video. I appreciate you uh, supporting your boy. If you really want to support me, please hit that subscribe button and you'll support this channel in a great way. But right now we're going to get into this Vassal update. Things are getting very, very close to that 75%. And let's just take a look uh, and, and just stop talking about it. Let's get it. So after all the hoopla what was going on with SPOs and IOG and everything else, things are great. Everyone's tested. Things look fine. There was some minor bugs on, on the test nets due to some configuration differences, but it all got resolved. There was never a, a, a true bug with the Vassal protocol that was updated on version 1.35.3. So taking a look at pool tool uh, blocks on the protocol, majority of them are now being made by the Vassal update 1.35.3. The relays online, right? 64% of them, most of them are now the Vassal update. Nodes reporting version, 69%, it was just 70% a second ago, is going up and down, but we're getting closer. We're getting closer to that date being reached. So we need 75%. We need 10 of the top D apps to also move over, port over to the 1.353. And we need 80% liquidity from the main exchanges to also upgrade, right? So that includes Coinbase, Binance, Binance US, and I think Yuhobi, Yuhobi, however you say it. KuCoin is also a major exchange and they got to update as well. Then after the date is reached, according to Charles, all the other small exchanges rush to update, which they will. It doesn't take a long time to update. It's actually pretty quick. But you know, while they update because they have so many pools as well, is that they're gonna, they may lose blocks and that's a, that's a hindrance. But there are, there are technical ways to get the protocol online, the line real quick. And I'm sure their DevOps are pretty capable of handling that mess. As we take a look at Pool PM, we can see the... One day congestion is 70%. And the Vassal version is 50%. It's not bad. It's going to get better as soon as everything gets ported over. Our Vassal nodes right now are a lot faster. So all of our nodes, block producers, relays, all of them are on the Vassal network. Everything's running fine and smooth. We have not had any hiccups. I've actually been running Vassal for a lot longer than, than most. And it's, it's fine to me. I haven't had any issues whatsoever. Right, so total value locked right now reporting to DeFi Llama is 80 million, with MinSwap being number one, Dex, Sunday Swap in second place, and then Wing Riders actually fell to number three. They were one for a short period of time until you know what happened. Value has dropped. Cardano went from 57 cents, 58 cents down to 64 due to several factors. Once was the fighting between SPOs and IOG, them saying that there was some catastrophe that was going to happen, which wasn't going to happen. But anyway, and also due to uh, the news from the U.S. saying that they're going to raise interest rates. So the markets are dropping. Everything is dropping. This is normal. I'm not giving financial advice, but to me, this is actually a good sign for everybody, for everybody to accumulate and start buying. Right? These are good opportunities to start to accumulate and hold on to the next happening. So everything else on the network so looks good, right? Block alignment is great. Network synchronization is good. Current block height reported is good. Propagation is uh, it's good. It's a lot of battles. This is normal occurrence. And this shows all the, all the relays, what services they're using. Amazon, not a data center. That means those are probably uh, bare metal servers. I run bare metal service at home. And it's, these are the different servers, uh, services, data center services, right? Hetzna, DigitalOcean, Google Cloud, uh, OVH. There's several of them. Right. We're going to be restructuring our, two of our nodes real soon because of our friends are having fun with them and we're going to get rid of them. So I do believe that the half for Combinator will happen sometime uh, in September. I believe the second week of September, I think a date's going to be announced next week and we should have a half for come. And I think the half for Combinator would be, be uh, set for September 8th around that time. Don't quote me on that, but I do believe that's when we're going to have a half for date. And Cardano will be on Vassal. And once on Vassal, you're going to see this number on DeFi Llama skyrocket. 
all the apps will be released. In ADA, everything's going to be released, right? For a mobile token, Charlie 3 should be out, uh, our Oracle solution, and so many other protocols. Indigo, everything is going to be released during that time frame. Slowly but surely, these protocols will start to get released. All the new DEXs that we're holding back, those will also get released. Congestion and network will dramatically drop and we'll be a lot better off. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you for watching this video to the end. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. I'm more than willing to talk to you. And last but not least, if you like the content, please hit that like button. If you want to get notified, hit that bell notification and support the channel. Support your boy by subscribing. Blackstar. With all the light in the darkness. Peace.